Hello and welcome to my channel Distinctive Crochet. My name is Priscilla and today I'm Hi guys, sorry to barge in, but I'm coming to you from April 5th, actually. <laughs> um, I'm busting in on this video because I did find another channel who is also participating in the beta. And this is a newer channel, so she would appreciate it so much if you guys went over and show her some support and subscribe to her channel. And this channel is called Hook Hook Crochet. She has decided to take on the beta challenge and... Um, in this video she will be working on her temperature blanket and it's a little bit different from the ones I've seen guys so go ahead and check it out also I wanted to say that um, Laura from Nana and Nay's Country Crafts uh, she's also doing tutorials for uh, left-handed crocheters so I didn't know that before so I wanted to go ahead and mention that but she's also on the list of links down below so you guys can go ahead and check out those channels if you haven't already. Alright guys, I'll take you back to the video. <laughs> See you soon. And today I wanted to talk about um, my progress that I have made on my top. So if you haven't seen my other videos, um, I decided to do the beta, which is video every day in April. And I made a challenge for myself to recreate a, a garment that I had made four years ago and this was an experienced pattern that I found from the um, Doris Chan convertible crochet book and so since I have some experience now I want to go ahead and try it again so let me show you what the top looks like oh, actually here's a better picture of it here than I've been showing before so here it is here and it's called the Titan Top and um, today I want to also mention that today is actually uh, April 3rd I know I'm not uploading this video today because I put something else up but I did want to go ahead and let you know that this is um, actually April 3rd when I'm filming this so that you can um, I just wanted to keep track of my progress so the what I had gotten done last time was just these two motifs connected and then I had made another another one that need that was ready to be connected so I have gotten that one connected as well and then I made one more and connected that so I do plan to go ahead and finish the last two I have two more to go for this to go um, Let's see if I can figure this out. So, leave those go in the front, then the shoulder panel, and then, so I have one panel that goes in the back. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, so I have one that goes in the back. I need one more for this side, and then I need the shoulder one for this side. And then I'll have the top ring completed. And then I'll be working on the body part so I do plan on continuing to work on this to get those last two done at least those last two done today but this was the only time I had available to jump on and film so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys uh, the progress in the in the video and then um, if I complete it or whatever I finish completing um, today which is April 3rd then I'll go ahead and try to take a picture of it and then I'll insert it here where you guys can be able to see um, the completed progress so I'll insert the picture here okay guys so this is what I had gotten finished but I made a mistake so can you guys see it I'm gonna give you a second take a look okay so the mistake is that point that's sticking in the middle of the neck the neckline it's not supposed to be there so I ended up having to take it back down. Oh man. Okay guys, so hopefully I was able to go ahead and show you guys um, any further progress that I made today. Um, uh, I'm not sure what else this video is going to have on there, but I just wanted to go ahead and pop on and uh, show you guys my progress. 
so I think it's working up pretty oh that's the back side sorry I think it's working up pretty nice I do like the color you guys chose so I'm excited I am so excited um I don't know how long how much longer it's gonna take me hopefully I'll be done by next week May I don't know maybe even this weekend depends on uh, how long that slip stitch ribbon is gonna take these um, these motifs go actually pretty quick because you can um, once you get the round like the start of it it just kind of repeats itself so it's easy just to you know have a peek at the pattern and just keep going around um, and then it kind of sticks in your head a little bit so they do work up pretty quick um, so hopefully I'll be able to get the body part done over the weekend and then maybe the slip stitch ribbing during the beginning of next week so anyway I just want to pop on really quick and show you guys my progress and um, either there'll be more added on to this or I will see you in the next one so please remember to like comment and subscribe and thanks again for watching I'll see you in the next one I don't know. <laughs> All right. Bye for now.